Hello, hello, boys and girls. This is Under Shield, of course, and welcome to another episode of Feed the Beast Minecraft style. We got a lot of stuff to do, so let's get going. Or a lot of stuff I got planned, at least. I don't know how much we will do out of that. <laughs> I'm hoping a lot, though. So, um, I've been thinking about like the next buildings I want to do, and I definitely have two buildings in mind. Uh, first off, let's go over here. I want to build another tree that sticks up here somewhere, maybe? Uh, actually, out of the water a little bit. Or I might uh, extend my island a little bit just to make it look nice so it fits in. And I'm also wanna, I also want to reamp this area a little bit as well, because, I mean, it, it looks pretty neat that it's so small and stuff, but I still want it a little bit bigger, to be honest. And I wanted to... I want to make it work a little bit better. So I don't really got, know what I got planned, but th this is basically what I do. I open it up, I let the, let the skellies fall down, uh, I wait uh, until there's like 300 of them, shut it off, and uh, so they stop falling down, then I go up here, and I kill them. And then the chest eats their stuff, and the jars eat the experience. Uh, and I kind of want to fix this. It's, it's a minor, minor fix. It's just gonna take maybe 10-15 minutes for me to do. Uh, oh, whoa! There's still one guy. Hey, my guy. Why are you? Why are you drop so slow? You're dead now, though. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, the, the extra tree I want to have here, and I want it to be an enchantment slash magical tree, kind of like uh, the, the true Minecraft. I'm just gonna keep saying true Minecraft. Fuck it, <laughs> fuck it. But where I have my enchanting table, where I have my repair bench, where I have um, my brewing chest and my brewing stand, and maybe even the soul forge. So I actually open up a little bit more room in a little bit more room inside here simply uh, been thinking about maybe making a like a, a bedroom house as well because I don't really have one of those yet and to be honest this place I mean I got all of this stuff hooked up in here but I'm I've never actually like gone ahead and, and finished it because it's not really worth it. I don't have any villagers yet or anything like that, so I need to grab some villagers as well because this is also one of those like half finished projects. The building turned out fucking great. I'm super stoked and happy about it. It looks really, really good. One of my best builds ever, to be honest. But uh, the insides of it is like completely empty and and has like no actual functional use and that's kind of the sad thing because I like I like to have my stuff functional oh wow I missed the flag dang it <laughs> come on get up here guy no no <laughs> get up here dang it uh, there we go much better so that's the plan for today and uh, I think for I got some more plans as well I'm gonna show you guys we actually got ethos head right here <laughs> Because <laughs> we're, we're gonna we're gonna do some other stuff. Uh, I'm planning on actually making another uh, tree, especially for the guys' heads I've been taking, and basically having pedestals like this where their heads sit, uh, like really nice and neat, like on marble. And uh, of course, this is gonna be marble, and that's gonna be marble. But the only thing I had was sandstone. That's close enough. And I didn't wanna be bothered with going and grabbing marble right now because I feel like having these great guys head hanging here like in my basically basement <laughs> is is a little bit disrespectful even though I, I'm, I'm kind of Mr. Disrespectful anyways because I, I pull all kinds of horrible jokes and stuff but you guys are used to that so that shouldn't be that much of a problem I hope uh, and now and then I do see new subscribers so I'm like, oh my god Anders how can you joke about stuff like that because life life is cruel you gotta you gotta joke about horrible stuff and and stupid stuff because otherwise otherwise you're gonna be too sad to, to face to face life simply Anders philosoph philosophy 101 that's the first lesson Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. <laughs> oh man, I'm feeling really derpy today. I'm in a really good mood. Uh, the other day when I recorded, I, I was, I had, 
I don't know why. I, I overslept a little bit, like an hour, and to me, the entire fucking day is basically ruined if I oversleep, because I feel like I've already lost an hour, so I'm basically starting the day uh, behind, so it I feels like I'm screwed over already, so yeah, I'm... I'm Today, I woke up actually half an hour earlier than I was supposed to, so I feel like I actually have half an hour gained, so yeah. <laughs> I don't know why, and also the sun is shining, and uh, they've been cutting down the the, the popple trees in my, in, in the, oh man, what's it called, in the... Not the garden, but but oh man, what's it called? In in cities where where you have trees in the park outside my apartment, and these popple I don't know actually what popple trees are named in English. It, it's just popple trad in Swedish, so I just say popple trees. Uh, but basically, the trees are big, look kind of like oak. Uh, but they have these things that are called poplar, and that's basically like the kind of like kind of like dandelions. That's called, dandelions are actually called maskeroser in Sweden. Uh, those yellow flowers that when they die and wither away, you can like pick them up and like, and they blow away. Those trees drops like fucking hundreds of liters of that kind of shit every fucking uh, summer. And it just flies into your apartment and like creates like a snow layer. One day, one time I forgot to uh, close the window um, a warm summer day when I was going to my parents' home to, to sleep over there for a night and visit them. And when I got back, I had a basically half an inch of popple, popple, like... It's basically like uh, du- duvet cover cover fillings, like du- uh, dune. We call it dune in Sweden. What's what is it called? D- dove? No, no. Oh man, I don't know what it's called. But basically, it looked like I had a fucking half an inch of snow in my entire apartment, and oh, it's just horrible to get rid of. I mean, it, when you're trying to vacuum it up, it just flies away. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, and also today we're, we're gonna fucking go and give the Silverwood saplings to Beef. I forgot about that completely. Like, I saw a ton of you guys sending me messages on Facebook. Like, God damn it, I you forgot to give Beef the saplings. I was like, oh, herp derp, herp derp. Anyways, see you guys in a second. <sighs> Spooky sounds. I shall get you. <laughs> so, I uh, did a lot of changes here. Uh, made the platform a lot bigger. Uh, changed how I have the jars so it looks a little bit nicer. Hid away the button a little bit behind there. Uh, moved the ender chest up there. And the regular chest with the wand of fire into there. Uh, put down so I can have a portal here. So I can actually go up and down if I want to. Uh, yes, it's always nice to have a place where you can actually have a portal and up here you go to actually go and kill the guys that are down there. Just open up and <laughs> host them with fire. Ooh. <laughs> I've been drinking any drinks. Oh man, I gotta stop drinking so many of those. I get, the, I get the hiccups and the burps all the time when I'm recording. and It's not very professional, but then again, I'm not very professional. <laughs> So I don't know. So I hollowed out the tree. I also grew the tree, of course. I don't know if you guys even notice it, but uh, this big piece here was not here before. I actually added a lot of dirt, about five stacks of dirt. It's actually a bit hollow as well. Uh, the land actually went somewhere around here and stopped here. Uh, this I also extended, so it actually wasn't sand there from the beginning. Uh, tree is actually quite tall. Uh, what surprised me was that it grew like way taller than most of these trees. I mean, only that guy is actually taller. This guy is actually the tallest one yet. And if you see, you can actually see that he's just barely the same length as all the other trees as well. Uh, this guy here though has kind of a, a disadvantage. It's, you can see the tree actually starts way lower down. And that means it's going to be way shorter. But yeah, this guy... And this guy is basically exactly the same height. It's only one block lower, this guy. Uh, so, yeah. That's interesting. <laughs> We, we we have something that we, we have something we say in Sweden when someone tells a story and you're not even a little bit interested. Uh, Interesse polisen antecknar. Basically, that means the the 
oh man, how should I translate that in a good way? The care police uh, takes notes, basically. <laughs> or care police drive by. I guess that would be like the, the equal equivalent in English. That means like you don't give a shit about the story someone just told you or the, the, the thing someone just told you about. But anyway, I'm really happy about this. Gives you a lot more room, looks a lot better, actually looks quite good even from a distance. I uh, haven't put uh, any... Well, I haven't finished up under there yet, so I'm uh, kind of... I'm kind of hit, I'm kind of blaming myself right now. I should have saved up more of the leaves, but I think since I ha still have to remove this to actually make flooring, uh, I'm gonna I might be able to get enough leaves anyways. And ooh, 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 ooh. oh man, I forgot. I was supposed to go to Beef and actually leave him the saplings. So let's go ahead and do that straight after. I get uh, get these leaves down. I think that might be a good idea. I'm like good guy Anders this week. Like Mr. Good Guy Anders. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mr. Good Guy Anders. Do 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 There we go. That looks better. I wanted to have it open here because I'm thinking of actually making a walkway from here over to this uh, place that's gonna be an enchanting place. Don't exactly know how I'm gonna build it though yet, that's kind of the problem, that's why I haven't started on it yet. But, as I said, let's go over to Beef. There we go, with the magic of editing, we're at Beef's place straight away and I see changes, look at this. Man, this looks actually quite cool, I gotta say. Got himself a little walkway up here. Got Anders dirty bats. Oh yeah, that's my my bat shards. Damn it! I should steal these back. <laughs> oh look at that! Oh, it's got dog balls too. Man, that's awesome. What is that? Oh, that's that the red uh, red st uh, sto sandstone or whatever it's called. Oh yeah, a little bell balcony. Something changing. This feels like oh he started on the roof that's why I thought like what is it I can't put my finger on it but something has changed in here but it's the roof that's why the thing whoosh, whoosh. Let's see now it's still owned by beef <laughs> I wanted to check his safe out see what he got Ooh, toilet toilet still looks the same bar of soap Huitus papa or toilet paper in Swedish or not? Oh, but yeah. This doesn't even open from inside the bathroom. That's a derpy thing. And derp, derp, derpy beef. Can't even go inside. Dang guy. <laughs> uh, so let's go over to his little place and see actually what has been happening over here. A lot of you guys want me to to show off the other guys' stuff, so I'm gonna try to do that as well. I I just don't want to like show off. Oh yeah, here's the bat exhibit. Oh yes. Stagnalites, stag, stagnalites, stagnites, stagnites. I think that that's what these guys are called. Pretty damn cool. I gotta say, good work, beef. Good work. That looks nice. I'm guessing though, it's not even close to being finished, <laughs> since there's a lot of stuff missing. At least it seems like it. If you need more, just let me know. Oh yeah, dogs, uh, dogs uh, stuff. Hmm. What else? Is there anything else that's new? Oh, you removed the, the Mufru cows. Wait a second. Is this a new exhibit? No, this is, yeah, this is this thingy. Has he? Oh, he put glass around it. That's cool. I don't think there's any wisps spawning in here, though. Doesn't seem like it. Does not seem like it. Let's see now. I don't think he got any more new exhibits. Takes quite a while to build these. Oh yeah, well, like, wait, let's check out the dock and uh, and goods uh, penguin exit. Does it work now? <gasps> nope. <laughs> nope. Nope, nope. Hope I didn't break it again. <laughs> or I, I don't even know if I ever break in it. I gotta talk to Beef about this so you can have the mud like in in, in, in pits because this, this bothers me that. Because this is, this soul sand is obviously supposed to be mud, but the mud should be like in these pits and not be like scattered all over the place. At least in my opinion. I don't know. I, I might be very, very wrong. So don't, 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 don't judge me here. I'm wondering like, why isn't, 
Why isn't these guys spawning? I don't know. That is that is that is strange. Anyways, oh yeah, so let's do what we came here to do. Leave him a little bit of a gift because he doesn't seem to have any of these guys yet. So this might actually be a very nice thing to give him. What? What? What the hell did I just do? Whew, that's strange. Where should we put it? It puts it right there. So it's easy to see, so he won't miss it. Because that would kind of suck. If he would like walk right past our little gift. Uh -huh. <laughs> Subs told me. No, wait. The Poolers told me you needed these Anders smiley face now what the hell <laughs> Anders <laughs> Anders smiley face aha very nice Boink. let's should we give him the hole maybe he screws up and kills himself with it that would be cool <laughs> oh man this hole is so damn amazing amazing great Yes, do 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 do. Look at that! <laughs> Fast traveling for the win, baby. Ooh, what is this? Oh, this is a new thing. Any signs? I get to know who built it. Ooh, do 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 do. It might be blame the controllers. Actually, I think so. I don't understand really what it is though. It seems to be some kind of racing thing. Oh, nice. Yeah, I guess this is what you guys meant when you said make waves in the Swedish flag. And I said I can't do that with the micro blocks. But if you use these, like the quarter blocks, then you can actually do it, of course. Or actually one eighth blocks it is, yeah. But yeah, quarter blocks out of half slabs. You can also say, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> what what this is. Hmm. Badge rubber goods. <laughs> Toys are we? Oh no, you did did not. Was that a good? Oh god, that is so fucking funny. <laughs> oh, oh man. Oh, oh, I hope you guys understand that joke. Multi-purpose rubber sheet. Six for one emerald. Oh man. <laughs> rubber underwear one. <laughs> Gimp. <Give birth. laughs> oh man, that is amazing. Oh. God damn it. Oh, son of a bitch. 2000 rubber, rubber stack, and the chest. Payment for rubber goes into here, please. <laughs> no returns. Ooh, what is this? Oh, oh no! Wait, no, no, no! I don't want to place a sign on it. I want to check out what what is this little thingy? That's a cute little thingy. What? Are, where are you? What are you? I don't even know. What are you? Dang it! I want to know what that thing is. Son of a beach. <laughs> Son of a beach. <laughs> oh man, bash! You dirty, dirty man. <laughs> Oh, that's some awesome pawns. Uh, bash rubber goods, toys are we. Uh, oh no, you did not. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, some, that's some awesome wordplay right there. That is amazing. Oh, wait. Oh, what, what's this? Uh, the Twilight Zone Epimer Shop. What? Open. Any two items, only one diamond. Oh, okay. Any one item, one diamond only. Naga stone head. Ah, I see. Crumble hone, magic map, focus, miniature axe. Any eight items, one diamond only. And it's 16, one diamond. Pavement pier. <laughs> Someone put gunpowder and cinnamon dust in there. <laughs> we're gonna put, we're gonna put a piece of leaf. Piece of wood, piece of dirt, and a piece of cobblestone. 
Here we go. Add a little bit of wood, too. Oh, no, wait. I, I know what I can do. <laughs> I know what I can do. Um, maybe I made it a little bit too big now. Ah, screw it. <laughs> I tried to make a penis. Anyways, okay, I, ne I need to get working again. I can't be drifting around here, but this was some funny shit. Oh, man, gotta, gotta make some more more explorations uh, of, of spawn, especially when people make this funny-ass stuff. Uh, so, see you guys in a second. Welcome back, guys. I've been building. I came up with an excellent idea of what I want to do. Oh, yeah, well, we need to remove that guy, yeah. Oh. Taking damage, not good. Oh yeah, we're still missing. Oh, okay, yeah, that's why I put that guy there. <laughs> that is obvious now why I put that block there. Come on, there we go. That should stop the water. Is it dead? But why did there be water coming in here too? Damn it. <laughs> Look at that, that's so stupid. Just that one little guy stops all of the water. There we go. Awesome. Now we can grab a little bit of this mossy cobblestone. Got my reserve mossy cobblestone down here. I actually got more reserve mossy cobblestone to be honest. Red wood leaves, red wood leaves. Don't. Or maybe I want to keep them. Mm, 14. Let's grab a few more. 18. Let's go with an even number. I like even numbers. Even numbers are nice. Okay, red wood. That was, oh yeah, we want the big, big pile. I'm 14. There we go. Okie dokie. Okie dokie dokie dokie. Uh, I'll pop down a portal. That's gonna be quicker. Okay, so let's have a look at what I've been building. I'm very, very happy actually how this is turning out. However, I don't know what the hell is happening here. It's like some of the rainbow oak leaves are like randomly despawning. And they shouldn't since I'm the guy who placed them. Like, oh, look at this down here as well. The heck? Damn thing. Dang it. God damn it. God damn it. God dang it. God dang it. Hot dang it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We're not supposed to go down there. Damn it. Uh, grab ourselves a little bit of steak. I knew I was breeding those cows for a good reason. No, that's redwood. I want the rainbow oak. Rainbow oak. Rainbow oak. Rainbow oak. Really like make it oh. <laughs> loose. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy I just started recording again. Oh man, what a what a derpy guy. Uh, B dubs. Uh, what is this? Why you keep this spawning? Damn leaves. Sandy the beach. Hmm. That might turn out to be a big problem for me. I have because I have no clue why these guys are actually despawning. I don't know. Okay, we're just gonna let that guy stay there. This is extremely strange. I'm gonna run out of rainbow oak leaves quickly if they keep despawning. They shouldn't despawn since I'm the guy who placed them, but uh, obviously they kind of have a mind of their own, so to say. Go. Let's see here. Bring this guy right up to this guy's doorstep. And I think we're gonna switch to mossy cobblestone here. Yeah, switch to mossy here. There we go. And have one of those leaves there, one of those leaves there. And I'm gonna go for rainbow oak again. Yeah, I'm, I'm quickly running out of rainbow oak here actually. This is definitely not good. But it looks good. It looks dang good. Ah, man. Okay, let's have a look at it before it actually starts despawning. Look at that. My my enchanting room. I am really, really happy with how this turned out. Uh, however, we want to cut this guy up if, in a couple of mossy cobblestone slab strips to get... Oh, man. That's gonna be too little, isn't it? We need one more. I didn't think about it. It was three. There we go. There we go. Aha! Uh -huh. 
Very nice, very nice indeed. So we got a nice little walkway up here to the pedestal. So I was planning on having it there first, but then I kind of changed my mind. And man, they just keep despawning. However, I got a lot of saplings, so I have replanted a lot of them. I uh, have one guy that, oh, he grew so quickly, he grew inside one of those other trees. Okay, got another one replanted there. Uh, got one planted down there. He also grew into the other trees. And, oh, this guy actually already grew. Hmm, that's cool, because this is the guy I actually cut down. He was quick. Damn quick. Okay, so we're gonna cut this guy down again. <laughs> Man, I do not know how to fix that. Maybe they have maybe they actually have to be connected to some kind of other leaves or something like that to actually not despawn. So I'm guessing these guys don't have a connection and that's why they're despawning. Or no, they do have a connection, so these guys shouldn't despawn. That's strange. I don't really know how to fix that. Uh, why? Why? Doesn't have fly mode on by default. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh man, P Dubs, what what a what a funny guy. <laughs> I guess he forgot to actually turn on the engine on off. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> uh, anyways. I'm gonna grab some more leaves and I'm gonna try to figure out what the hell is going on here. I might af actually have to like put some some wood around here or something like that to actually keep it to keep it staying there. Uh, kind of sucks, but I, I guess that that that's what's needed simply, and that's what we gotta do if so needed. And I think we're gonna have the brewing up here. Yep, we're gonna have the brewing up here. So I'm gonna see you guys in a second. Okay guys, welcome back. Got almost everything done now, so I'm feeling pretty confident and happy about how stuff is looking. Did I? Oh man, maybe I did. That is so weird. Oh, I still have the ambrosia, I forgot about that completely. Okay, so let's get rid of that guy for now. Gonna go and put down the stuff. So look at this. I finally figured out how to make sure they stay. Basically, the rainbow oak leaves uh, act just like leaves did in Minecraft before. So you actually have to have wood close by. However, this wood is unnecessary and looks kind of ugly. So I'm gonna get rid of that. But I really like the, this like really clean, magical, almost like a Roman look, to be honest. Uh, I definitely enjoy it. However, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do up here. It kind of feels like I've I made this too small. It, it um, I don't know, I, I don't like it. I like the big look and I might make this one higher uh, because I do need to plonk down the brewing stand and stuff like that anyway, so we're just gonna we're just gonna do that for now, and then I think I'm gonna do the changes. Uh, this is not the final setup how it's gonna be. <gasps> where's the where's the anvil? Ah, no, nah, I'm stuck. <laughs> Let me out! Dang it! Where did that anvil go? Did I? Oh yeah, there it is. Man, we don't want that to despawn. That would be that would be very very unnecessary. Mm -hmm. Very very unnecessary. So. Oh man, I love that sound. Doink! Like it really sounds like an anvil. Uh, yeah, as you can see here now, these guys now disappear. Uh, but uh, these are going to stay, I think. So uh, basically, I hid wood under here on each side. Oh man, that one is broken also there. So it should help keep these guys alive. These leaves don't despawn if I place them. So I don't know what to say. I mean, it's, it's kind of strange, but. Screw it. <laughs> Screw it. It's gonna work anyways. It's okay. It's a-okay. It's a-okay. Okay, so grab the apples and all the potions and stuff. There we go. Got that stuff in there. And now I need to fix this. There we go, guys. However, I think I didn't make it wide enough here. So that's kind of a little bit of a problem. Mm -hmm. Dang it. I did not make it wide enough at all, did I? No, I did not. Dangity, dangity, dangity. Uh, hmm. 
Sucks. Can I make it look good anyways though? That is the question. How are these pillars? Pillars are right there and right here. So are they gonna touch marble? No, they are not. So that's where... Oh, pfft. So this is where they should be marble. Yeah. Ah, oh, dang it. That that's that's less fortunate, without a doubt. Get up here. Oh, there we go. Man, I miss miss my gravitious plate. <laughs> oh, I miss it so much. Ah, oh, dang it. Uh, because it's, it's kind of like a rubber band effect on this guy. Uh, on the normal, but yeah, so there we go, uh, that's definitely a problem, but at least they're the same height now, I like that though, that's really good. So, I think I'm gonna stop recording here for a second, and I'm gonna be back when I actually fix this. Screw the time lapse! <laughs> See you guys in a second! Okay guys, I am done, and I am super happy with how this turned out, look at this! Whoa, baby! <laughs> I don't know, I don't think you guys might get a good look at it as it is right now. So I'm gonna punk down some of these uh, aluminium torches. I, I thought about using regular torches, but then I thought like, nah, I think aluminium torches are gonna be better. Uh, because they, they simply look a little bit cooler. There we go. Look at that. Man. <laughs> that looks really, really nice. Uh... I'm really happy with the water, and I kind of put half slabs on on the end, so it, so it really looks like pillars as well. I'm not super happy with the layout here, though. I mean, down here it looks super, super duper good. I mean, look at this; it's amazing, and it does enchant level 30. If you guys are wondering, let's just show you. Uh, grab a little bit. Yeah, let's just make a shovel to enchant. So you guys can see, because it's a little bit of weird setup, so I had to use a lot, uh, I had to make actually 12 more bookshelves, uh, just to make it work, because I wanted it to be like a high bookshelf kind of thingy dingy, and I had to actually extend it here by three extra, so I couldn't have it like the same, same amount, and it's, it's kind of centered, not really centered, since I can't really center one block, but uh, really, if it would be really centered, it, it would be something like that. That's the center where the tree is. But I think that's that's the uh, that's the best I could do. That's the best uh, best setup possible. And I mean, in all honesty, I mean this looks fucking amazing. At least in my opinion. I don't know what you guys think, but I think that looks damn good. And it kind of turns a little bit darker here, and then you come to this like, ooh. Mossy cobblestone, horrible place, and then you go here, and then it's like all magic, nice and clean and awesome. So, I think this is one of my best builds in a long time. I feel like I'm becoming a better and better builder, actually. And this I, I didn't even steal. This idea I didn't even steal from everyone. I, you guys didn't give it to me or anything like that. I just came up with it myself. I guess, like, it's kind of Greek inspired, but still. Only problem I kind of have, though, is these. Uh, to make sure the water can be here, uh, because I wanted to be able to fill up my bottles, my glass bottles. Uh, but it works good. Got uh, got some bottles in here already, so it can start brewing. War one, what? Biogas engine. One one, what? For one thousand ticks. Oh, to you a tick uh, water meal. Ah, I see, okay. And other was my Minecraft jewels. But anyways, yeah, look at that. Now you gotta look at it from the daytime as well. And I gotta say, I'm fucking impressed with myself. I hope you guys enjoy. I, I hope you guys like it too, because I mean, like, I, after all, I kind of make these videos for you guys, even though I freaking enjoy Feed the Beast. So it feels almost criminal making videos out of this and having this as a job, but damn, it's so awesome some days. Uh, so that's gonna be it for uh, this episode, as usual. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.